Welcome to another installment of Pseudo Show Labs. In this episode, I'm going to do a long term review of the ThinkPad X13 Gen 3 AMD from Lenovo. This is not a sponsored video. I purchased this machine with my own money. I'm just a long term ThinkPad fan going back nearly 20 years. I've had the X13 Gen 3 for about nine months now. I bought it to replace my X1 Gen 6, which was easily the best travel laptop I've ever owned. I'm a full-time Linux user, and on the X1 Gen 6, I was able to easily get eight between 8 and 12 hours through regular use. That means you know, putting it in standby mode, writing notes for meetings, hopping on, on meetings throughout a busy travel day. For me, the X1 Gen 6 is the machine to beat from a performance and battery life perspective. Now, I really haven't been traveling since 2020, but now that travel is picking up again, I wanted to pick up another great travel machine. Now, I almost bought an X1 Carbon Gen 10 instead of the X13 Gen 3 AMD. The tipping point for me were the initial reviews of the 12th gen Intel-based laptops, which were generally positive, but the thermals and battery life got worse in comparison to the X1 Gen 6, which has an eighth gen Intel processor. Even though Intel is better in some areas, the balance between battery life and performance with this generation of AMD processors better meets my needs. So the X13, my first impressions of it were, it's not black. For, I didn't realize that I had purchased the Storm Gray. When I realized it wasn't black, I almost shipped it back. In this case, this isn't uh, like the ThinkPad T470 Silver where the paint would just chip off. A friend of mine had that and it just would, and it just came off. The Storm Gray looks great. And from a distance, it looks like an iconic ThinkPad black, but it has a superpower, even though it's not black. It isn't as much as a fingerprint magnet as the, uh, the typical ThinkPad black. Now it still is a fingerprint magnet, but it isn't as noticeable. Now, as much as I like the black styling of ThinkPads, I think I like the Storm Gray better. And if it's available on future ThinkPads I buy, I may get it instead. Now, the specs on the X13 Gen 3 that I purchased was the Ryzen 7 Pro with 32 gigs of RAM, a 2 terabyte hard drive, and I got this with a full HD 500 nit screen with privacy shield. This model has the smaller 48 watt battery, but I'm planning on upgrading this to the 54 watt hour battery in the near future. I typically keep this in the power saving profile while I travel. Even though it has the smaller battery, I'm still getting near all day battery life typically between seven to, eight, seven to eight hours with an email application, a handful of browser tabs and Firefox, and a note-taking app running in the background. The display is, is nice. It could be a little brighter, uh, even though it's 500, described as 500 nits, it doesn't feel like a 500 nit screen, and it's probably because of the privacy shield. It's a great trade-off to have the privacy shield feature when I'm on a plane. I feel more comfortable with uh, with some sort of privacy uh, cover on my screen when I'm working on a plane, but it, it's a good trade-off instead of having an ugly screen cover is really nice. The chassis is rock solid and the keyboard is great to type on, even though it is a little more compact than the X1. One thing that I was expecting was a smaller trackpad, but this trackpad is about the same size as the X1 Gen 6. 
even though I don't really use the trackpad that often, I typically use the track point. The X13 has a 1080p webcam, and which is really good in comparison to the X1 720p webcam, and the speakers and the mics work very well for conference calls. And it's a that both the mics and the speakers are a huge upgrade from the X1. Lenovo seems to be investing more in the in webcams and the audio quality on their laptops, and it's something that I'm really appreciating. Chances are, most of you that are watching this are follow follow Text Digital and are part of our community, so you're probably asking how well Linux runs. Every ThinkPad I have owned, Linux has more or less worked out of the box. I'm working on a video that shows how well Linux works on, on the previous ThinkPads that I've owned. Make sure to hit subscribe to catch uh, that upcoming content. Now the X13 is no different than those other ThinkPads. The only thing I had to do on the X13 was disable the Microsoft Plu the Microsoft Pluton security chip and put it in TPM2 mode. I exclusively use Fedora and this machine is now running Fedora 38. I just finished the upgrade at the time of this recording. So far the only issue I've had is using GNOME network displays based on the bug reports that has nothing to do with the laptop since older ver versions of the software do work. It's uh, around WPA supplicant. Overall, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi work very well. And Suspend works very well. I've left this machine unplugged and suspended over, the, over a weekend. It still had a significant amount of battery life left, which, based off of what I've heard about Windows Modern Standby is a huge improvement over Windows. I use my laptops to get work done. I need them to perform well enough and have great battery life. This ticks both boxes, and I can also play some light games when I'm on the road. I've only ever had an AMD-based laptop one other time, when I temporarily lost my mind and bought an AMD-based Acer laptop back in 2004, which I promptly returned and kept using my ThinkPad A22M until I bought a T60 later on. I have always been a big fan of AMD desktop CPUs, excluding Bulldozer, but that Acer swore me off of AMD mobile chips because it was so bad. And this time, I decided to give AMD mobile processors another try. This time around, I'm very glad I gave AMD another try. These Ryzen chips are very efficient and very powerful and crunch through my work like it's nothing. Overall, the X13 Gen 3 AMD is a great ThinkPad and likely one of the top laptops in its class. If you are looking for a thin and light that runs Linux perfectly and has global support if you need a repair, seriously consider the X13. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss any content from Pseudo Show Labs, where business meets open source.